we got an interesting video for you guys and this gets quite strange guys let's go first up up and away hello everyone hope you guys are having amazing day xrp is just stable at around 54 cents rank number seven to this day bitcoin moving higher and higher slowly but surely at um above 63k guys right so people are wondering when moon when is the next big event going to happen to xrp well maybe we have a decode right here that says something is brewing now guys we're to the fun part of xrp in the xrp community now this is called quite interesting check this out from um esoteric kang so the next 125 in the ripple xrp jamatra ritual is 1025 heard it here first so this 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 gets a little bit strange guys okay so we know um we have seen this post before but it seems like they they love doing certain um events on this one two five sequence right this number sequence july 13 2023 judge rules xrp is not a security one year 25 days later judge makes final ruling orders ripple pays 125 125 million dollars now one month and 25 days later from that date right here comes out to october 2nd sec appeals um which would mean that it's all happening one two five right this this number sequence guys the next 125 would be 1025 guys because in Jamatria you drop to zero right so it's one two five so that's that's like the end of um october guys interesting isn't it now we have an, uh we have we have another few decodes that maybe um proves this um theory guys let there be light on october 22nd well so that first moment of creation took place on the onset of evening 6 p.m preceding october 23rd 4004 bc these calculations were made by working backwards from the birth of jesus hmm right so that happened uh, supposedly by or on october 22nd guys baba cook's timeline right supernova 1024 from david schwartz 1024 as well a little bit strange isn't it guys Ripple vs. SEC settlement comes out to 1025 as well. Look at that, guys. 1025 is on a Friday, making 1024 Thursday. Um, who loves Thursdays? Weird, isn't it? But but it gets even more strange because check this out. So, from Sandy V, 4, 6, and 10 master dates of 2024, Brick Summit. Right, could there be an announcement, guys, around that date? Now, what's really odd is around that date, guys, there's a few uh, external events happening, such as the BRIC Summit, and I think Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson is um, heading to the Federal Reserve of uh, Philadelphia, guys. Um, and, and, then, and then there's a SWIFT event happening around that same time frame as well. Three major events, guys, that all pertain towards the same goal, and it's a new financial system. What? So BRIC Summit 2024, we got... Um, it happening on October 22nd to the 24th of 24 guys, but this is where it gets strange. 2 plus 2 is 4, 2 plus 4 is 6, October is 10. So from B June to 3, 4, 6, right here guys, what's the last one? It's 10. Russia calls on BRICS countries to create a new uh, cross-border payment system. Cross-border transactions in local currencies uh, establishing direct links between central banks, distributed ledger technology, settlement settlements with tokens. Wow! So we really, well, that's insane, guys. We literally are heading to toward a new world, right? A new system is brewing, guys. But oof, because somebody um, just sold everything. Just sold everything. I'm done with XRP, and I'm going to live my best life. Take care. Right. Again, at the end of the day, you have um, free will, guys. You make your own choices, right? Decision, decisions, guys. So, but for me personally, guys, I've I've come this far, right? This long. Um, the journey has been long indeed. But why would I sell before the case has even concluded? It doesn't make sense. From institutional investors 2.0. Once the lawsuit ends, you need to hold your XRP for the next three months. 
So when this lawsuit finally concludes, guys, some are sitting next month because, right, um, Trump will be in place three months after till February, guys, right? I don't know, but the day it officially ends, guys, maybe we, maybe we should hold for some time because of price appreciation will occur within that uh, moment in time, guys, right, that period of time. SEC sudden unexpected change on XRP feels like a market manipulate like market manipulation from Brad Garlinghouse. How the United States election could shape cryptocurrencies. Again, this is a very important election year, guys. The SEC was arguing most vociferously it was this idea that XRP, the digital asset that Ripple uses in our technology, was a security. And that was really what they cared about. And what the judge ruled is that XRP is not a security. And that's really been a formative case for the, the industry. So we're going to continue really clamoring and champ, trying to champion the, the clarity of regulation. And yeah. I'm, I'm hopeful that as a, uh, we see a change in the guard, we'll see that. Sorry, just to clarify, though, I mean, whoa, was the ruling, whoa, though, whoa, it didn't whoa, make a whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. He just said it, we see a change of the guard, right? What? Who else? Guys. A change of guard literally means somebody goes, they place, it's manufactured as well as orchestrated, they place somebody new um, for that position, and then that new person is more friendly toward whatever the other person was not to, right? Very strange why Brian Garland has just said it. I caught him right here, guys, right? Let's listen to that once more. Industry. So we're going to continue really clamoring and champ trying to champion the, the clarity of regulation. And yeah. I'm, I'm hopeful that as a, uh, we see a changing of the guard, we'll see that. Sorry, just a changing in guard, changing of the guard, guys. Again, Trump is confirmed. This isn't financial advice. This isn't no advice at all. But just subliminally right there, guys, right? He has to be confirmed. Clarify, though. I mean, was the ruling, though, it didn't make a distinction between institutional investors and retail investors, did it not? What it said actually is that just like if you package up real estate or you package up uh, even pork bellies, if you put those into an investment contract, the investment contract is a security. Gotcha. But okay. the, the ruling was very clear that no matter what, XRP in and of itself is not a security. Brad, do you pause? I just want to say, I, I'm, I'm sorry I'm pausing it so much. Please like today's video, but check this out. So I told you guys, uh, the SEC appealing it is, a, is a 200 IQ move. The reason why is this, okay? Because it's it's a harvest it's a harvest energy harvesting event, guys. So the SEC appeals XRP price what dumped a good a good amount, right? Like seven five percent something like that, guys. Ten percent less than that. I don't remember, but um, everyone is now scared and fearful of XRP, right? There's more there's more fun and hatred toward XRP. But now a month later, Trump maybe comes into play. Hopefully, let's pray to God. And then all of a sudden, the case is now done. It's just dropped or something, right? Weird. And now, and now it flies. Well, a lot of people just sold. Agree then with, okay, so the, the reason why in part that President Trump is pro-crypto is because he doesn't want China to be more crypto than the US. Is that actually like a material risk that China would surpass the US in terms of its uh, crypto innovation? Well, I can't speak to China specifically, but what we are seeing is whether it's the UK, Japan, Singapore, I mean, even the European Union, more than two dozen countries have come together to create a framework to provide crypto regulation. They call it MICA. And what's, what's frustrating as a US company and someone who grew up here in the Midwest, it, it's frustrating that we as a country can't get that rules, the, the framework in place. And instead, we have this interminable litigation coming from the SEC that really isn't solving the problem. I mean... If things will change, guys, no matter what, from Johnny Deaton, quote, SEC needs to be led by people without conflicts of interests. After 21 years with the SEC, Enforcement uh, Director Grubwall has resigned. Why? The same day that Gensler's, uh, Gary Gensler's head of enforcement announced his resignation, the SEC appealed its, its most famous crypto enforcement action against Ripple. Something doesn't add up here, does it now? Right. Is it a coincidence that the SEC's chief in, uh, enforcement officer jumped ship as the political and legal block uh, blowback became too much for Gensler to handle? Hmm. There's no clearer example of Gensler's muddled agenda than the prolonged litigation battle between the SEC and an ACA's crypto payments company, Ripple. Exactly, guys. Right. While the appeal plays out in court, Gensler's uh, tenure will likely end before a resolution into or to the case is found. No matter who wins the presidential election in November, one thing is clear, Gary Gensler has to go and the SEC needs to be led by people. Right. 
um, without without what's in it for themselves, right? But at the end of the day, that's how politicians are, guys. Right? Look at the stock market. Look at Nancy Pelosi. Insider tradings are in, off the charts at this point in time, right? Mark my words, an Ethereum-based loss is incoming. Watch for the pump before the dump. Possibly new, the SEC has delayed its decision on spot Ethereum ETFs again, moving the deadline from October 19th to December 3rd, guys. Possibly, but at the same time, maybe maybe they want these to go live at the top of the market. Think about it. Right? I don't know. The SEC is very strange, guys. That's what I'm saying. It's all market manipulation at this point. 100% it is from David Schwartz. Trump's not a Republican. Trump's not a conservative. Uh, Trump's an authoritarian populist, and that's why people like him. Could that be the case? Well, are you going to donate a million dollars in XRP to Kamala as well? He's, he replies, uh, Shorts replies by, I'm not exactly thrilled with her either, particularly her uh, attacks on successful people and her attacks on freedom of speech. Hmm. Interesting, guys. Interesting. Right? So, I guess he's, he doesn't like any of them, guys. Then who should it be? I would never thought I would witness a regulatory, um, a regulator blatantly ignore the law, right? SEC will not accept their laws, forcing us to bring the suits against them, guys, exactly. No matter what, it will change, guys, right? It has to change due to this right here. It has to change. I'm just saying it has to change, guys. There's no other way. It needs to change, and it will. Brad Garlinghouse talks about the new financial system. Exact ratio. Uh, I mean, we think about our business as a very global business. 95% uh, of our customers are non-U.S. customers. Yeah. About 40% of our business is in the Asia-Pacific region in terms of payment flows. Yeah. Again, our customers, Ripple, the company, our customers are banks, financial institutions, payment providers. We build, we use the XRP ledger, and we use the token XRP to kind of facilitate these transactions. Some people get confused about which is which, but you know, Ripple, the company, our, com our customers are all these banks and financial institutions. Exact ratio. Uh, our customers are banks, financial institutions, and payment providers. And that is why the system will change. Now, bears are shocked. October 13, 2021 from Howard Moon. It's going to be a one-year Delta gas tomorrow. Bears are shocked. Hopefully, that's truly the case. But for today, we got a few uh, connections, guys, from Mr. Pool 1012. Then we got um, this as well. Oh, wait. Is today the 13th date? Really now? It is. Right? Today's the 13th date, guys. Interesting. We got... um colorful eggs but someone pointed this out something quite interesting there's a chart that uses colored dots to refer to the stages of a bull run interesting right where are we maybe yellow right it's getting more heated we're not we're definitely not here at red um not all who wander are lost that was on 10 11 guys all that is gold does not glitter not all those who wand, uh, wander are lost. Wow. From JRR, guys. The Fauci Presazio. 11-2. November 2nd, change broken. Could it be today? 10-12, 10, 10, guys. I don't know, but things are getting pretty um exciting, I would say. Because Gary Ganser is about to go bye-bye. The case is about to conclude, and we're about to fly. Now, I need you, guys. My name is Sophie's Macy's. See ya.